experts with the tools that can help. All right, we got Allison here from DAC Pack. Yes, yes. Pack Dog and there's, Now, last hour, you were talking to Camby about the five tips mm -hmm. when you're training a puppy, but now we have some tools and some things we could use to help us. Yeah, so um, short term solutions can uh, definitely help expedite the training process as we get to those long term goals. So, okay. You know, first, you know, always we always want something to help motivate our dogs, whether it's a good toy or like a good variety, a healthy of treat, right? Yeah, and all, a lot of these are all under like two or three calories. You know, these are especially good for puppies. It has like DHA, which helps. What is with, this one? Oh, this is from yeah, little blue buffalo bites. Um, okay. They have DHA in them to help with like cognitive brain de development. Mm -hmm. Charlie Bear is a really good, like, low-calorie, healthy treat, too. Oh, I use this one all the time. These yeah. are the ones we have. Yeah, they're great treats. Mm -hmm. You know, um, using the clicker with some dogs can be really helpful. It helps to mark their appropriate behavior. Okay. So you want to use the okay. other side. Yeah. So okay. it makes, like, a really consistent noise to kind of screenshot, hey, you're doing everything that I asked you to do. Got it. So, so when you do this, it's... Like after they do it? Yeah, so it's a form of classical conditioning like Ivan Pavlov and the belt yeah, yeah. food. Yeah. So like I could ask a dog to sit and as his butt touches the ground I could click okay. and then within and it doesn't get because my dog would be scared of this noise. Yeah, so they're She's softer little. they're softer clickers okay. that make a lighter noise, or okay. you can like muffle them with a blanket and you wanna like get them used to click the clicker first. So I can count out ten treats and just click treat. Like treat oh wow um, a couple times first so that okay. they associate it positively got it okay. um, and you can eventually you fade out the treats and the clicker itself kind of becomes the reward got it okay um, you know having a good treat pouch can be helpful treat pouch yep mm -hmm. that's kind of my favorite one pouch. that I have I use oh a treat pouch right here okay and normally <laughs> <laughs> and normally I always like to start a dog on like a six foot leash and like a basic collar. Okay. Um, and from there, if I'm having difficulties with like leash skills, especially like with a large breed dog that's yeah. just growing too fast for us, um, like a front clip harness can be really helpful Okay. Um, to just kind of keep them at our side, kind of take away their ability to go ahead or a head halter. More around the whole front part of the body. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also like to use them with this, this double clip lead. So you clip it to the front of the harness and to like the back of the harness and it actually works like horse reins. So it oh, helps for I like see. touch sensitive dogs. Okay. Because um, if I use these inappropriately, it can kind of become like a punishment if dogs don't like. Oh, yeah. Like okay, that. Got 30 seconds. Yeah. And so all this good stuff is all, you know, like different enrichment toys. So a variety of toys is the best. And I love toys where it's like they have to solve something about it. You yeah. Know? <laughs> they have to try and pull the dental treat out. Yeah. You know, dogs have to eat oh, two goodness. times a day. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. So making them... Making it a game, whether it's eating out of a slow feeder mm -hmm. um, or even something where it's like a snuffle mat where you can hide the treats in the fleece. Oh. And they have to like sniff and dig around. Okay. And then also like good training books can be a really good tool to kind of help and, as and well. And there's your phone number if you want to ask Allison any questions or any, you know, working on you get some of these things. She's the one to ask. Yeah. Good luck with your puppy at home on National Dog Day. Thank you for coming in. Back yeah, thank you. For and we're checking.